So what I'm doing here is moving the brush this way and that way you have and I'm adding more white so it's almost like a pink because lilac trees they have okay And we're going to be doing that to this, but this is going to be more defined. These are far away. Now, here's a technique. Um, you got to blend this in with the sky. So it almost looks like there's a reflection. And I'm doing that using just a Kleenex. Okay? So if I do that, what happens is it almost looks like the light is bouncing off the tree. Got some of this mountain, which I don't want. Yay. See, that's the thing. Gotta learn to cover up <laughs> some of the paintings. Okay, so again. All I'm doing is just, now you can do this with a brush too, but I find it's easier with the napkin. So now you have the light bouncing off this tree. doing is I'm smudging the colors together. Then it looks like there are other trees in the background that are also lilacs. Okay? That's the image we are trying to capture. You see how that almost looks like a mist? Kind of a effect. So pick up my fan brush again. We're going to have more of this pink. Now I'm going to go in there later on these are more dried and define them with a smaller brush but kind of get the idea of where I'm going with this right Now it's the same thing here uh, with the water. We're going to be creating some reflections. Now this is going to be the higher one there. Okay? And all I'm doing is the same thing. We're adding the colors 
to the water. And then you're going to smudge them like this. That gives a reflection effect in the water. Stand back. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a two inch brush, whatever brush you have, because we're going to brush it. I'm just going to dry it from all the solvent. And very lightly, you want to kind of smudge these so that you get the water effect that you are looking for. See how we've created water there? This still has some solvent in it, and what it did was it took out some of the paint, which is fine. So you want to bring these colors down. Okay. And just brush. See how I did that? So now you have shadows in the water. She'll just love that. Just pull some of that down there. There we go. We also are also going to make the shadow for this one here, uh, but I'm not going to go there yet. Um, I think what I'm going to do is because uh, this is probably closer, so we can make another side to the uh, veranda that is a closer. So I'm going to pick up the brush I was using earlier for that. I'm going to 
to dry it up here. We're also going to have a sip of this Tim Hortons coffee. And where are we going to go with this? Okay, so now with the cadmium yellow hue and some white, I'm going to continue. Um, actually, I think we used gray there. So I'm just going to match that to that. Now, don't worry about getting the same color because what happens is you, it's all about lighting, right? So 